Revelation 4037 from the 7th of May 1947 Satan's Disguise Figure of Light God's adversary also disguises himself where he intends to make people fall and to persuade them to turn away from God. He likewise appears as a figure of light and dazzles people, so that they will no longer be able to recognize what is right and cannot see through his deceitful game. He is always to be found amid gullible people, that is those who thoughtlessly accept what is offered to them as truth and who therefore don't spend any thought on it when dark forces express themselves through the deceptive light of piety. Yet even this game of deceit can clearly be seen by someone who seriously looks for and desires the truth. Only a few, however, so value the truth that they scrutinize everything and only accept what seems credible to them and thus these dark forces will eagerly endeavor during the last days to confuse people's thinking by joining forces and working in unison in order to achieve phenomena which intend to simulate angels of light and yet are forces of darkness. They try to influence gullible people by imparting error to them and leading them on wrong paths and are also generally successful with them because they don't try to obtain clarity regarding important issues, because they allowed themselves to be instructed by uneducated teachers and thus accepted misguided teachings which lead away from God, who is the eternal truth himself. People by and large lack the power of judgment, they are unable to distinguish error from truth and thus they accept everything unconditionally without spending thought on it in order to discover and recognize the error with good will for truth. These figures of light can nevertheless be exposed by profoundly faithful people with an awakened spirit, which enables a person to see and hear clearly. The knowledge of truth, which was imparted to him through the voice of the spirit, enables him to recognize every error as such and thus he will reject both the error as well as the giver of it, whom he unmistakably recognizes as a dark power, despite the fact that he conceals himself under the mask of a bearer of light, for the spirit of God teaches differently, and anything that does not concur with this spiritual knowledge can safely be dismissed and branded as a lie. Besides, these apparent figures of light will not be able to prove themselves before those who are filled by the Spirit of God, for they will very quickly be seen through, since they speak without love, instead their intention is to turn people towards the world, if they are already on the spiritual path, and to prevent the others from recognizing the right path, which necessitates a life of love. Therefore pay attention to how such figures of light express themselves, pay attention whether they point to God himself, whether they further direct communication with God or whether they exclude God, whether they want to see earthly actions to be achieved which do not contribute towards obtaining maturity of soul, pay attention to this and you will recognize and reject all spiritual beings which do not come from the kingdom of light for anyone with the will for truth also infallibly recognizes everything which opposes the truth, and he will acquire a bright and sharp vision, so that he can offer resistance and also lead his fellow human beings into the pure truth, if they are willing. Nevertheless, God's adversary will have great power over gullible people, and those people who know the truth and recognize the dark forces will have to spend much effort to convince the former of the error, and this explains why phenomena, which do not originate from God, will be on the increase during the last days but which many people regard as divine revelations, where the adversary tries to win people over as an angel of light and thereby places them into profound darkness. For his followers don't want to let go of the error, they resist if it is explained to them, and although it does not directly damage their souls they are nevertheless unapproachable for the pure truth. And this is so extremely important, because truth alone leads to God and because every manifestation from the spiritual realm will be interpreted exactly as it is intended by God's adversary, for his thoughts are based on people's attitude, 
and he will always spread the error under the cover of piety and yet never draw attention to the end, so that people are prevented from preparing themselves for the end according to God's will. And thus diligent effort should be made to fight against it since it is, after all, important to rescue the many people, who still live in darkness, from Satan's claws. Amen.